What's up everyone? DJ Wondercut from Table Tutors. Today we're gonna get into the stab scratch, another basic fundamental scratch. One of the first ones where we start to get to use the crossfader. And if you stick around, we'll get to do another question and answer scratch together. Let's get into it. Okay, so in order to do the stab scratch, it's basically we're building off of the baby scratch movement. We're removing the record back and forth. We're actually gonna use the crossfader to turn on and off the sound. And the primary principle for the stab scratch Stab scratch, excuse me, is that uh, we're just isolating the front portion of the sound. I'll do the baby scratch first. All we want is to isolate just that front movement. And we're gonna do that by using the crossfader. So I'll start with the crossfader closed. And when I push forward up with the record, I'm gonna tap the fader so that I can uh, get that forward sound. And then from here, you just have to make sure your crossfader is closed and then you're going to pull back and get to the beginning of your sample and then you can perform the scratch again. So what I'm doing here is um, using my thumb as kind of like a stopper and as I'm pushing the record forward I'm going to tap with my middle or pointer finger and I'll do this really slow. Alright, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about the stab scratch, please leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Table Tutors TV for more tutorials. Wondercut signing off.